What's going on ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are having a great day as usual. So for this video guys, I'm going to be reacting to another Bill Burr stand-up clip. And the clip that I'm reacting to is him talking about chain restaurants. So let's jump right into the clip. We'll have a little discussion after. Let's go. You know what I like? You know what I hate about these, these, these corporate chains? You, you, you go in there, you're paying for a business. They make you like do half the job now. I don't get it. Like I walk in, hey, let me get a uh, turkey sandwich, lettuce, tomato, and rye with mayonnaise. The guy behind the counter is like, all right, turkey sandwich, lettuce, tomato, and rye. Yeah, and, uh, and mayonnaise. Oh, the mayonnaise is, uh, it's right over there. Really? Why don't you uh, fucking go over there? <laughs> put it on the sandwich. You get it? I'm on this side of the register. Guy who orders the sandwich, guy who fucking makes the sandwich. You get it? I'm sorry they fired the mayonnaise guy, but I'm not doing it. I just gave you 100% of the money to make 100% of the sandwich. This isn't like a relay race. You make half the sandwich, then you hand it off to me. I run over, I throw a pickle on it, frisbee it over to my mom. She sticks an olive with a toothpick in it. Do you recognize me? It's because I don't fucking work here, all right? Just make the sandwich. I'm out. I'm out. I gave you the money. I'm out. It's over. That's the end. That's the end of my part. No, I asked the guy for a drink. He gave me a cup. I finally go, you know what? Let me just get this whole thing to go. And the guy's like, all right, the to-go lids, they're right over there. He just snapped the lid on top. I just wanted to grab this guy by his throat and get, where is it? Where is it? Where's who? The guy making me do all this extra shit. Where is it? He just choked my way up that corporate ladder till I get to that eyes wide shut party and everybody's sitting there getting the All right. And I come, I just kick the door open. The second they see my angry face in that lid, I didn't have to explain myself. <laughs> just put it over somebody's face and just start. How big your fucking yacht gotta be? <laughs> no, that's the thing. It's like never enough. I don't want to be this guy, you know. I'm halfway through my life at this age, you know, and I've been an angry son of a bitch, and I gotta turn this around, man. I'm embarrassed with my be. I don't want to be that guy. You die as the angry guy? That's the worst dude to die as, because then people gotta try to think of happy shit to say about you. It's your funeral. They're just sitting there like, he, uh... You know, he always paid his bills on time. You know, you gotta give him that. You know? God damn it, you gave this guy a bill, he paid it. This guy was a bill-paying son of a bitch. Ironed his shirts, I, I got nothing. I don't know what else to say about the guy. He's just... <laughs> no. No, I noticed, you know what I knew, know I had an anger problem? It was when, uh, just like little random things. Like I, I went to this place another time. I'm on the road and I'm ordering food and I was done ordering the food and the guy behind the counter asked me if I wanted a cookie, right? And all of a sudden, he's had this unbelievable urge just to blast this guy right in the face. <laughs> I'm not trying to be paranoid, but my brain was just sitting there going like, dude, what kind of a man asks another man if he wants a cookie? <laughs> this guy thinks you're soft or something. Oh, you want a cookie there? You want a cookie there, cupcake? like that. <laughs> you know what the sad thing was? Was I wanted a cookie. <laughs> oh, I would have loved one. Sit there with a big glass of milk like a four-year-old. Who doesn't love a cookie? You know? Uh, but I say it. I say I want a cookie. You know what? I say it. I say I want a cookie. I bring it up. But if you bring it up, you do it subtle. You don't just yell it across the restaurant. You want a cookie, you pussy? 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 <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I realized. I gotta... <laughs> Anybody else's thoughts just wake them up in the middle of the night? <laughs> just wake up. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> uh, guys, great stuff there by Bill Burr. He's 100% right. Uh, usually these days, when I walk into like fast food joints or restaurants, there's not a lot of people there. And I completely understand it from like the owner's perspective and stuff like that. Um, they want people to contribute more or participate more so they don't have to hire more people and spend more money. Not only that, but automation is kind of taking over. Like when I walk into fast food joints, especially now, there's only like one or two people behind the, the cash. And um, there's these robots that you just really go in you type in whatever you want and they make it in the back already. So 
that helps out a lot in terms of like corporations and companies because they don't have to hire people. Robots don't take breaks. You don't have to pay a robot, and they could do the it could do the job for twenty four hours straight. So the future is gonna kind of be weird just to see where everything goes, especially as automation and we get a lot more um, technology savvy. It's gonna be kind of crazy to see what happens with a lot of people because a lot of people are gonna like lose their jobs per se. But that doesn't mean they're not going to be on this planet. So there's going to have to be some sort of shift where we all have to work towards different goals. Maybe not just money, but like helping society grow and stuff like that. Or just working on our hobbies, you know. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Is it crazy when you walk into restaurants? Do you have to do a lot of the work nowadays when you walk into fast food joints or restaurants? Let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot, guys. But I'm going to wrap it up, so take care of yourself. Stay safe because it is a crazy world and there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, peace.